In this video we are going to study exogenity with Wu Hausman and Sargon tests in Python using Jupyter Notebook. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, this is an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Ok, so let's go to the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So the first step within the video regarding the Jupyter Notebook is that we need to insert a new cell below and we do so by clicking on the Insert Cell Below button. And the first step regarding the code is we need to import the corresponding packages, therefore we comment this as step 1 which is Packages. And first we're going to import statsmodels.api as sm, we're importing that feature from statsmodels for data downloading. Then we're going to import statsmodels.formula.api as smf. We're importing that feature from stats models for multiple linear regression calculation. And last, we're going to import linear models.id.model as lm. We're importing that feature from linear models for two stage least squares, Wu Hausman, and Sargon tests. To run these code lines or this cell, we can either click run or we can press shift enter on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is data. For data, we're going to create an object name, house prices underscore object, which is equal to, and here we're using sm feature from statsmodels.datasets, dot get underscore r dataset, and we open parentheses. First parameter, which is data name, equals to, and within quotations, we have house prices, comma, package, equals to within quotations AER, comma, cash equals to true. So what we're doing here is the following. We're downloading house prices object from our package AER, and with cash equals to true means that once we download the data, it saves it locally, so we don't need to go and download it again every time we run the code. Notice that this will download data and documentation within house prices object, Therefore, we're going to create a new object named house prices with only the data. Therefore, equals to house prices underscore object. And we're going to get this dot data attribute. And let's go ahead and visualize part of this data. And we do so with the following code line, which is print. And from house prices object, we're going to get its dot head method open and close parentheses. So now to run this code lines or this cell, we're going to press shift enter on the keyboard. And we can see the data being printed below. As we can see, we have the first five rows and all the columns of data. And in this video, we're going to focus on the following columns, which are price as the dependent or explained variable. And then we have as independent or explanatory variables, lot size and bedrooms. And then we're going to have as instrumental variables, driveway and garage, which is the number of garage places. If you have any questions regarding this data, you can view its documentation with the following code line, which is print and from house prices underscore object, we get its dot two underscores doc two underscores attribute, and we press shift enter on the keyboard directly, and here we have the full documentation of this data. So now we're going to continue with step number three, which is the model. For this, we're going to create an object named MLR1, which stands for Multiple Linear Regression 1, and it is equal to, and here we'll be using SMF feature from statsmodels.ols function, which is ordinary least squares, and within it the following parameters, which are formula equals to, and we have within quotations, because it is a string, price as the dependent or explained variable, special character means being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size, plus bedrooms, comma, data equals to the house prices object, the one that only has data, and we go ahead and fit this regression open and close parentheses. So, to run this code line, we're going to press shift enter on the keyboard, and now we continue with step number four, which is exogenity. And for this, as this is just a title, we're going to press shift enter on the keyboard, and we're going to continue with two stage least squares. 
And for this, we're going to create an object named mdataC, which is model data together with a constant or intercept column, therefore equals to, and here we'll be using sm feature from statsmodels.add underscore constant function, and within the parameters data equals to the house prices object, comma, prepend equals to false, so that this column is added at the end. And with this, we continue with the following code line in which we create an object named MLR2, which stands for multiple linear regression 2, which is equal to, and here we're using LM feature from linear models.ib to SLS, which stands for instrumental variables to stage least squares function, and within it, the following parameters, which are dependent, that's the dependent variable, equals to M data C object, we select its price column, comma, and then we have EXOG, which is the exogenous explanatory variable because it is assumed not correlated with MLR1 model error term equals to m data c object double brackets we select constant column and also we select bedrooms comma endog which is the endogenous explanatory variable because it is assumed correlated with MLR1 model error term and from m data c object we're going to select its lot size column and at the following row we have instruments which are instruments which are the instrumental variables and from m data c object we're going to select with double brackets driveway and garage and we go ahead and fit this regression with the following parameters, which are COB underscore type, covariance estimator type, and within quotations we have homoschedastic, and comma, debiased equals to true. So that the covariance estimator is adjusted for degrees of freedom. So two important observations regarding two stage least squares is that if we do two stage least squares estimation manually using OLS function, that would estimate correct coefficients but incorrect standard errors and incorrect F statistic. Also, as we can see here regarding the corresponding parameters within FIT, is that within MLR2 model, we are assuming that its errors are homoscedastic or with constant variance. So, to run this code lines or this cell, we press Shift Enter on the keyboard. And now we're going to continue with Wu Houseman tests. And for this, we do so with print and we have MLR2 object dot Wu underscore Houseman, open and close parenthesis, and print also from MLR2, we have dot Woldridge underscore regression. And to run this code lines, we press shift enter on the keyboard. And right here we see the printing of the two tests. So first we have Wuhausman original test with an F probability distribution instead of a chi-score probability distribution. And below we have Wuhausman with Woolrich auxiliary regression test with a chi-square probability distribution instead of an F probability distribution. In both cases, we have test statistic and associated p-value, test statistic and associated p-value. And focusing at the second test, Wu-Hausman with Woolrich auxiliary regression test, the one that's below, we have Wu-Hausman test with the joint null hypothesis of one coefficient that stage one regression residuals coefficient is equal to zero. If rejected, lot size explanatory variable is endogenous because it is assumed correlated with MLR1 model error term. If not rejected, lot size explanatory variable is exogenous because it is assumed not correlated with MLR1 model error term. And now we're going to continue with Sargon over identifying restrictions test. And for this, again, we print and from MLR2 we get it with dot sargon and we're going to press shift enter on the keyboard and we can see the results being printed for sargon test we have the test statistic p-value this is a test with a chi-square probability distribution 
So focusing right here at the p-value, we have Sargon test with the joint null hypothesis that bedrooms, driveway, garage coefficients are equal to zero. If rejected, driveway and or garage extra instruments are not valid because they are assumed correlated with MLR2 model error term. If not rejected, driveway and or garage extra instruments are valid because they are assumed not correlated with MLR2 model error term. An important observation regarding Sargon test is that in order to be able to perform the test, we need that the number of instrumental variables is greater than the number of endogenous explanatory variables. Okay, so with this we finish with the code file so we can go ahead and save it. And with this, we also finish with this video. Thank you for watching.